welcome back to another progress video. If you haven't seen the last video, I'd suggest you watch that. We did quite a lot of content. Uh, got quite a lot of collection log slots playing the bingo. Uh, we did not end up winning, uh, but it was still so much fun, and I got this sick bet. Um, but last week, with the game update to the collection log, we got a new counter that I've been waiting on, the Gnome Restaurant counter, to track how many deliveries you've done. So I've had all this food bought for a long time, ever since I got the gnome goggles, to try and finish this. But I wanted to wait until there was a counter once I found out there was a counter being announced. It took a bit longer than I expected to come out, but anyways, it's here now. So we're gonna we're gonna do the gnome restaurant so I can finally get rid of all this gnome food. Quick little rundown slash guide to this for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, we already have the goggles, but the goggles and scarf can only be given by two different people and the seed pod can be given by four people the mint cake by three people so ideally because there's like 20 different people you can make deliveries to you'd like to only do the specific ones that give you the rewards you need and fortunately there is a way to do that but first you have to do 10 to 10 hard deliveries with uh the full range of options and you get this reward token after 10 things, it's full and you can't earn any more rewards for your reward token, but that unlocks the ability to basically choose what deliveries you do. So the way this method works is you just get a hard contract. He says that you are, your token's already full, but you can only collect chips. Uh, so you go through and I say, I'll take a delivery. Um, do a hard delivery, that's the spirit. And basically if you get someone who you don't want, you just go through the dialogue again and wait until you get someone that you do want. Sick, we got the seed pods, those are pretty rare. Uh, the scarf is pretty easy to get, uh, relatively speaking. So that's that's very nice. Um, still missing the scarf and the mint cake. But that is sick. And I think these are actually worth a lot. Uh, I don't know what people use them for other than luring, but yeah, that's free money. I just got back-to-back -back seed pods. What the fuck? Tube goggles? Uh, not ideal. 69 hard deliveries. This is what the log looks like. I got a second pair of goggles. And we've gotten four sets of seed pods. So now we just need to do the scarf. So we only need to do the two glider captains. We don't need to deliver to these guys. So go ahead and untag this guy. Okay, very next run after that mint cake. Uh, 70 deliveries now, and we got a third pair of goggles. The goggles are the same rate as the scarf, so we could have been done right there, but that's annoying. Literally the last the last run I was going to do before I went to sleep. Uh, 81 runs to finish off the gnome restaurant. Nice green text there, 4 out of 4. Easy 3 log slots this morning. Sick, I am uh, editing the video and I just got the Elder Chaos Hood, which finishes off the entire section. Or uh, Chaos Druids. Let's pick up my cannon. Fuck, they're in our weed. Uh, tell you out of here, and I'll go check my collection along my POH. I'm not sure what I'm gonna AFK now. I'll probably just go to Moss Giants, I guess. Okay, turn my run in. Uh, collection log. Other Chaos Druids. Chaos Druids. There we go. Chaos Druids log completed. Ooh, just got a beekeeper. Hopefully, we can get another piece of the outfit. Not flax, not flax, not flax, not flax. Ooh, beekeeper gloves. New collection lock slot, easy. Okay, so after I finished getting the Elder Chaos hood and finishing off the Chaos Druid sheet, uh, I spent the rest of the time I was editing the video just AFKing hill giants. We ended up killing just under 6,000 of them and getting 45 giant keys. My loot tracker says I got 46, but I must have let one despawn since I only have 45. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and use these, uh, kill Obor a bunch. I don't think I have, I think I have like one or two Obor KC, but, uh, these 45 keys will give me like a one in three chance, roughly, to get the Hill Giant Club, so that's pretty decent odds. But yeah, let's just go ahead and send these. If I get any good loot, I will show you guys, and I will try to remember to take a screenshot of loot at the end, uh, if I don't get the club. Oh shit, uh... I just I was watching a YouTube video on the side. I didn't really think I'd get the kill giant club. Uh, I just got a giant. I was finishing up the inventory and I got a giant key on the last kill. So I did one more kill. Uh, I still have some in the bank. So I didn't even use all my keys. Uh, I'll probably do eight more kills just so that I show up on the Obor high scores though. Uh, but that's really sick. Uh, I didn't even notice for a second. Yeah, I still got 13 more keys. Uh, so I guess I'll use all those, see if I can get a second one. Um, 
yeah, that's cool, 476k. But the important thing is that that's a, a whole green section in the collection log. Oh boy, green. Look at that, one out of one and 42 kills. Okay, so while I was uh, finishing off the Elder Chaos Druid ropes, I ended up getting four hard clues. I've got a master clue in my bank, I dropped it on the floor, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Just in case we get a master clue from these. Um, yeah, let's see what we get from these hard clues. Uh, Alcobolds, more Alcobolds. Ooh, that's 140k. I guess it's the teleports in the suites. Eh, four hard clues, nothing nothing but Alcobolds. Okay, I decided to work on the medium clue collection log, but I didn't really want to stack them up. I'd rather just open the clues as I get them. Uh, so I needed to do the master clue in my bank so that I could get a master clue from these. Uh, so now we got a master clue and a medium clue to open. Hopefully we can get the uh, Bloodhound or collection log slot. Oh shit, Rope Bottom of Darkness, that's a new slot. And from the medium clue, uh, 82k, not bad. Uh, that's pretty cool though, Rope Bottom of Darkness. Cool, Armadell Stole, uh, first, first medium clue collection log item on this grind. Not sure exactly how many I'll go for, probably like 30 or 40 items though. Another new collection log slot, Adamant Shield H3. Two log slots and six clues. Adamant Cane. Cool, another new log slot, Ancient Cloak. 1030th clue, fifth new log slot so far, Mithril Playlist. Alright, we got our 300th Master Clue here, so hopefully we can get the Bloodhound. Uh, that's pretty shit, 500k. Eh, 500k is not bad, but it's all these Onyx Bolts, everything else is pretty much worthless. Alright, come on, Beekeeper Boots. Ah, I got fucking flags. Okay, we finished the new free-to-play quest so I could get my quest cape back. I think there's another song I need to unlock somewhere in here. Uh, so I can get my music cape back. I'm not sure where the song is. Okay, Race Against the Clock. Yeah, the Camdozal Vault. Where the hell is that? Holy shit, that's two pieces of Elegant in one clue scroll. That's... That's insane. That is so good. That's two new pieces... I'm actually flabbergasted by that. That is such a good clue scroll. The elegant pieces, as I've said a bunch of times, are significantly rare. They're twice as rare as the other uniques. So to get two of them in the same clue is pretty rare, and then to have them both be new items is even rarer. Oh. Wow. That's so nice. That's such a good clue. Oh cool, a black leprechaun hat. I would have guessed I already had that in the collection log, but apparently it's new. Another elegant piece? That's That's nice. I uh, love getting these elegant pieces. I still have a bunch of regular rarity uniques to get, but if the game wants to keep giving me elegant, I'll take it. Oh shit, just a couple clues later and uh, got the wolf cloak. Nice. Another item. Nice. Got the cloak. Ooh, Adamant Kite Shield G. Another new collection log slot. Uh, look at that. Oh, it's sick as heck. Ooh, Cryer Coat. Another new collection log slot. Kind of surprised I didn't have that one. Uh, I feel like I have. Budget third age cloak, third age mage top. Ooh, Ceridoma cloak, another new collection log slot. Ooh, cat mask, another new collection log item. Oh shit, wizard boots on my 1100th medium clue. That's pretty sick. Oh shit, a white elegant skirt. Love getting elegant pieces. Oh cool, Bandos miter, first item of the day. Oh sick, I got a pair of manacles. Uh, they're not a new collection log slot, but it's still a nice clue, 400k. And a Hosidious banner. These banners are pretty dumb, but uh, an item's an item. Two uniques, a uh, Cryer hat and Addy shield. Only one of them new though. Another new piece of Addy, just a couple of coups later. Addy helm H4, nice. Nice, a new item on 1201. Oh cool, Armadale miter. Uh, I'm not gonna do this master clue tonight though. I'll save it for in the morning. Cool, Myth Kite shield G, another log slot. Always happy to get one of those. Cool, the third new banner I've had in three days. I must be getting close to having all the Zayer banners done now. Ooh, two green D-eyed bodies, one of them boring and normal, and the other one a new log slot sick. New headband, brown headband, not sure how many more headbands I need to finish all of them, but nice. Ooh, Piscarillius banner, that's the last banner I need for all the Zaya banners. Oh, I got wizard boots in this clue too. That's my third pair of wizard boots. Oh, what a sick clue. Ooh, ancient Kreuzer. I think that might be my last thing for all the god items. Ooh, another pair of manacles. That's my fourth pair. Ooh, new log slot, purple elegant skirt. Ooh, new log slot, Brandis Croizier. I thought I had all the uh, uh, god items, but I guess I didn't. 
Wow, that's sick. Oh shit, white headband. I think that might be the last. I don't think it's actually the last headband. I think I got one more. Oh shit, pink headband. That's a second item today, and both are headbands. Uh, that one might actually be the last headband. And I think that's like my fifth or sixth penguin mask. I keep getting that fucking penguin mask. It's annoying. Ooh, new collection lock slot. Shout out Robin Williams. Ooh, new mask. Uh, I think that's the last mask I needed, so that's nice to get. 99k clue's nice, too. <gasps> back to back elegant. Oh, I just got an elegant piece last clue. And I was complaining because it was dupe elegant. But then we just got uh, black elegant legs. And a headband. I thought the brown headband was new, but I guess not. Uh, that's sick. Oh, the climbing boots back to back. Oh, this is one clue after that elegant. That's so sick. I have four pairs of manacles and four pairs of wizard boots. I was really looking forward to getting these. Nice, even though they're worthless. Ooh, holy sandals. That's the last of the boots I needed for all the boots. I have at least one of each. I have two rangers, four wizards, four manacles, one sandals, and one climbing boots now. But that's a nice one mil clue and a new clutch lock slot. <gasps> Gold elegant skirt. That's my 100th total medium clue collection log item. Nice, and it's really nice to get an elegant piece because that means I still have a few uh, easy items. My goal was to hit 100 log slots by 1500 clues because that's when I'm stopping. But I guess we might hit 101 or 102 even. Alright, I'm 10 medium clues away from finishing off 1500 mediums and that's where we're going to stop with the medium clues for a while. Uh, let's actually go ahead and get the collection log out as well. Right now, before we open these, we are at clues, mediums, 101 out of 115. My goal is to be 100 out of 115, so that's pretty good. Uh, kind of hoping we don't get a master clue from this, because I want to just go ahead and open my master caskets as well. But yeah, let's open these last 10 mediums. Ooh, a dupe elegant piece. Master scroll book's pretty nice. And here we go, 1500 total medium clues. Wow, Cryer Crow. Kinda disappointed, I did 500 medium clues and I did not get any more rangers. I got some during bingo, so I guess I can't really be that surprised. But, yeah, it sucks. We got a bunch of log slots though, so that's all, that's all I was really after. And thankfully I didn't get a master clue, so now I can just open up my master clues. I'll take this master scroll book to Watson, turn it into some scrolls when I'm done with this. Uh, but yeah, here we go. 400k, not bad. 319k, not bad. No uniques yet, that's not too surprising. Wow, 25 purple sweets, I'm happy with that. Uh... I probably can't bank some of this stuff. Yeah, okay, alright. Uh, I probably should have cleared out the bank a little bit before I started this. Uh, I'll make this in here. That way it's tradable and it can be banked. Uh, back to opening. Ooh, Ale of the Gods. That's a dupe though, but it's a nice little unique. 33 sweets is nice. Rope Top of Darkness, another unique, but it's also a dupe. Throw this shit in the bank. Wow. 99k from a master code, that's fucked. Another dupe, three uniques and they're all dupes. Ooh, this one's a mimic, that's my first mimic. Uh, you can't open this guy if it, oh, you can't, oh, what the, I didn't know that one was a thing. It's not actually a mimic, it's just telling me that it could be a mimic. Okay, well, it wasn't a mimic. Thanks, game. How are these dupes? What the hell? Alright, well, we're up to 319 master clues. Uh, we did not get anything new from those. Uh, I had two master clues on my loot tracker already, so those will show up. But I will post the full loot for my 500 mediums and my uh, 18 masters, but also, apparently I had a few more, so 21 masters in total uh, in the video, so... Now it's on to hard clues, I guess. Ooh, and first clue, we get a Ceridome and Fulham. That's a new log slot. Very nice. It only occurred to me after I did that first clue that I should probably 
give a rundown of my whole collection log uh, after the medium clue grind and then what we're starting with with the hard clue grind. Um, so with the medium clues, after doing 500 clues from 1000 to 1500, we went from like 70 something to 101 out of 115. Uh, our boot luck was really dumb. We started with only ranger boots, none of the others. But we got five pairs of manacles, four wizard boots, and then only one of these, and no rangers of course, but can't really complain because we did get all of them. Uh, missing a few random items up here. These Hilderic Bite Body is really weird. I have two of these, three of these, and then none of the others. Uh, a ton of the helms though. Five dupes of this one. Or well, four dupes, three dupes, three dupes, four dupes of these shields. Um, that's just the way it goes though. Uh, despite the fact that I think I said it like three times that I finished the headbands, I ended up not even finishing the headbands. We're still missing the black and the green one. Missing the Crier Bell, and then. The elegant pieces are twice as rare as any other uniques. All of these are the same rate up here. And then the elegants are twice as rare. And we're missing four or five pieces of elegant. Um, we may come back and finish these like once I've done all the other easy log slots. Like It'll probably take like another 800 to 1,000 clues to finish these on average. Uh, I think that's about right. So it's, it's not a great time investment for me right now, but in the future, once log slots start getting harder to get, it will be a good time investment to just go ahead and get to 115 out of 115 and get that nice, pretty green text. Uh, this is what our shared rewards are looking like now, uh, 4,531 uh, total clues completed now. Uh, whole bunch of pages. We've had this section greened out for a while. But this is what we're starting with with the hard. We're starting with 32 out of 134. We just got the Cerdo and Full Helm. So we're up to 33 already. I uh, got a few dupes. Dupe Robin Hood. Dupe Sarah Plate Skirt. Dupe Ancient Full Helm already. Quite lucky on these God Dehyde boots. So, I mean, I'm still hoping we can get some God Dehyde boots because they're like 1 mil each. But they won't be very useful for the collection log. So we've got most of them. Um, all of these should be pretty easy. And... I think on average in like the 300 hard clues we'll do, we should get one piece of gilded. So that will be pretty nice because it counts three times. Um, if we get a piece of another, put this piece of third age, that would just be absolutely insane. I'm not really expecting it after that fucking third age cloak though. But yeah, we've got uh, f just over 15,000 magpie implings in the bank right now. And a GE offer for some more, but I am kind of lowballing in the GE offer. But it depends on how much I'm doing when I finish these 15,000. I might just end up buying more magpies. But time to get grinding. Alright, just got back to back uh, new collection lock slots. That's very sick. Oh my god. The Ceridome and the God Dehyde shields are like so rare. So that's three uniques in a row. And this is a rare one compared to all the other hard glue uniques. Like, it's not nearly as rare as Gilded, but they are quite rare. Like, they're significantly rarer than like a Robin Hood hat or something and a master clue all in the same clue what the fuck this is such a sick start to these hard clues oh shit new item magic combo and another master clue sweet uh, I guess I already have the Helderic shield that's surprising that I don't have the magic comp but I do have the Helderic shield but new log slot's a new log slot ooh a pirate hat that's an underrated cosmetic although the uh, big pirate hat from elite clues is strictly better but Nice classic item that's underrated. Ooh, Red Cavalier, another new collection log slot. Oh my gosh, a Rune Helderic Plate Body. Those are quite rare. And that's my second one in like 20 clues. That's really sick to get. Oh, just opened my clue in the wilderness because I saw this guy doing a weird Venonata slur. Figured YOLO. Uh, that's such a sick unique to get. So, so far we've had two super rare uh, Uniques, the Dehyde Shield and the Helderic Plate Body. And we also got a Helderic Plate Body at the start of Bingo, or just before Bingo. I'm not sure, but I know I got one of those recently. So I think we have two out of five on the Helderic Plate Bodies. Interesting clue score reward. Uh, another log slot, though. And sick value, 217k. These sweets are ridiculous. Oh shit, Ancient Plate Legs. Actually, two uniques and a Master Clue in this clue. Uh, but the Ancient Plate Legs are a new item. Sick. Oh nice, a Rune Defender Ornament Kit. And we got a Master Scroll Book, so that's some free Watson tellies. Uh, I really like the Rune Defender Ornament Kit, honestly. Uh, so that's a cool unique. Shame it's so cheap though. Ooh, new collection log item, Armadillo Plate Legs, and 73k, smart. Ooh, double Kite Shield Clue, uh, the Bandos Kite Shield and the Gothics Kite Shield. I already got the Gothics one, Bandos one, new log slot, sick.
Second Echo's ornament kit. That's a new log slot. That's three out of the four of the hard clue ornament kits. Oh shit, Armored Oak Coif, new item. Sick. Ooh, Armored Oak Full Hop. Oh shit, two new log slots and one clue. That's sick. And it's a really good clue. 1.1 mil. Sammy D had body and ancient plate skirt. That's sick as heck. Nice, so with that double unique from that last clue, we actually passed 900 log slots, which is what I was waiting for, and we're straight up to 901. Uh, this is what the uh, hard clue log is looking like right now. We still got a lot of easy uniques to go, so we should easily get up to like probably close to 950 just from hard clues, um, especially once I open the masters. And if we can get something in the in the gilded table, that's that's huge. Uh, 853 uniques, but we've still got a lot of things to get the uniques up. Uh, I'm going to do the new free-to-play mining thing soon. That's 10 slots that are both uniques. Uh, we have the new fishing boss. That's like 7 slots because I probably won't go for the pet. But I think you get 7 slots. So just a, just a lot of log slots ready to go. Ooh, Dark Cavalier. Nice. Another log slot. Just about to go to bed. So it's nice to go to bed on a new log slot. Let's fucking go! First win! That's sick! Alright, uh, where the fuck do I get this cape? Let's trade Justine. Wins one, we can get the tier one win cape. Alright, I've just been playing this a little bit. New collection log item, that's sick. Oh shit, and I opened another clue in the wildy and we got another pair of armor chaps and we got a master clue, that's fucking sick. I'm just gonna open all my clues in deep wildy. Oh fuck, better pick up the master clue. Oh shit, another piece of god dehyde, bandos bracers. Uh, 243k, I guess the bandos bracers aren't that much because that's like a 100k worth of sweets and a room plate body. Uh, but yeah, nice to get a log slot, 599, about to hit 600 clues. Ooh, another new log slot, Saradome and Coif, nice. Probably getting close to the full Ceridium and Dehyde set, because I know I had a bunch of those before. Ooh, Red Dehyde Body Trimmed. That's a garbage unique, but it is unique. We take those. Ooh, Zombie Head. Cool, another another silly little unique. 39k clue, but it has a unique, so that's sick. Oh my gosh, three three uniques in one clue. That's actually, There's four uniques in this clue, but three of them are new collection log slots? What the fuck? That's actually insane. That is so sick. <laughs> All right. I fucking won! Let's go, seven points. Oh shit, Samurai Dehyde Boots on the very last clue I was doing of the night, and a master clue. But we didn't get to see the, uh, the clue interface because I was getting attacked by the spiders. I should have thought that through. Ooh, another two collection log slots from one clue. We're just really, really smashing these out, and that's a good clue too, because it's a dehyde body, so that's uh, 600k from that clue. Nice. Alright, hopefully the last beekeeper random I have to do. I think this is my 10th one, no flax, god fucking d Ooh, Zami Coif, another new unique, sick. Back to back unique, another rune held Derek shield, that's pretty sick. Oh shit, enchanted top, another log slot, last clue of the night probably. Ooh, another clue with two uniques and one clue. Uh, this is actually my first uniques of the day. So, that's nice to get. Ooh, Enchanted Robe Bottom. We got the top last night, so... Now we're just missing the hat for the full Enchanted Robe set. That's, that's pretty cool. Ooh, Tan Cavalier. That's my third Cavalier. I think that's all of them? I'm not sure. Ooh, Red Dehyde Body G. I had the Red Body Dehyde trimmed already. So the Gilded one is new. Uh, it's a pretty stupid unique, but it's a unique. That's all that matters. Ooh, two uniques. Guthix Chaps and Armadale Plate Scary. That's sick. 517k from that clue. Ooh, Rune Gilded Helm. That's a nice little log slot. Mm. Rune Gilded as a underrated armor set today. Ooh, back-to-back -back uniques. Uh, Rune Helm H1. Sick. Oh shit, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back uniques. Uh, Green Dragon Mask. Ooh, Bandos Dehead Body. That's a sick unique to get, 500k. Ooh, another Master Clue. And a new unique. I haven't had a new unique in a while, but I've been getting a ton of Master Clues. This is actually back-to-back -back Master Clues. Uh, there's an Ancient Fuel Full Helm in there too. Ooh, Ancient Bracers, another new item, sick. Ooh, Bandos Coif, also a Rune Heldera account, but that's not new. Nice, 198k from that too. Nunchaku, cool new item. I guess the Morton Tellies are why this worth 297k. These are a pretty cool looking item, they're really, well I don't know if cool is the right word, they're really dumb, but 
They're fun unique that you don't really see people wearing. I think it being two-handed is part of why. Ooh, Rune Kite Shield G, new unique. Ooh, two unique. Ceridome and Dehyde Body, that's a big one. And Rune Pipe Body T. 950k clue, that's sick. Oh my gosh, Armadol Dehyde Shield. These Dehyde Shields are so fucking rare. <laughs> I'm so spooned, that's my second one and like 200 clues. Uh, there's six of them, so that's really lucky. Ooh, Ceridome and Chaps, new unique, sick. And it's like 600k. Ooh, Rune Plate Skirt trimmed. Another new log slot, sick. Ooh, Bando's Plate Skirt, new item. Oh shit, two uniques and one clue, and it's the last clue I'm gonna do for the day. That's really sick, a Helderic Helm and a Guthix Helm. We're getting close to finishing all those Helderic Helms. Oh shit, Ceridome and Stole, new unique. Rune Plate Legs G, new collection log slot, that's sick. Ooh, Explorer's Backpack, and a, another Dupe Bando's Coif. But cool, another unique. I've had two in the past three clues, that's really sick. Come on, 50-50. Let's go, Beekeeper Outfit finished. That's sick, that is sick. Uh, here we go, here's the full outfit. We can put this in the POH now. I know, I guess I could've put the pieces in there sooner. But there we go, full full beekeeper outfit done. All right, we're coming up on the last teleport here. Uh, the last teleport, the last step of the uh, 325th hard clue since I started opening Mac biomes. Uh, this is relevant because the drop rate for any specific unique is one in 325, except for the ones that are more rare. But most importantly, the thing I'm, I most care about is that's the drop rate for the mega rare table. Um, getting a gilded or third HP piece is a bit rare because there is a decent chance of getting the potions. But even if I got the potions, I'd be happy. I just really want to get a mega rare table hit. Um, I've had two gilded hits uh, before from hard clues, both of them the plate skirt. And in 2015 or 2014, I got 15 super restores. So I'm not sure if I'm lucky or unlucky given all the hard clues I've done over all my accounts. But it would be cool to get another hit, even if it's just potions. But here we go, hard clue number 325. And Zami Page 108k, decent clue, nothing special. Ooh, new unique on hard clue 326. Cyclops head, that's sick. It's a really dumb one, let's put that on real quick. Such a dumb item. Ooh, Amulet of Glory trimmed 4, that's sick. Yeah, it's a sick and unique. I've had it before, way before the collection lock came out, but um, yeah, it's such a cool and unique too. Weird that I have, I guess it has the jewelry tag on, I see yeah, the other one's on. Um, I don't think this is useful to anyone but Iron Man, but it does look pretty cool, like, underrated fashionscape item. Ooh, Ancient Coif, another new log slot. That is my second one today, we got that glory earlier. Nice. Oh shit, Room Plate Body G, that's a sick uh, new unique. Surprised they haven't had that one before, actually. I would have guessed they had. Ooh, Gothic's plate legs, new, new unique, sick. Uh, I was going kind of dry on new uniques, but I think getting that right after the uh, gold plate body puts me back right, just about on right. Oh shit, our second piece of rune G today. Uh, a rune gilded skirt to go with that gilded plate body earlier. Okay, I'm doing my first ever Temporos game. Uh, I'm just, the LMS world switched back to the UK world, so I don't really feel like doing LMS right now, and I'm just kind of bored of doing hard clues, because, like, there's a lot of clicking with opening all the jars, and then I have to, like, reset up my inventory every single, every single time I get a clue, and it's a lot of clicking, and I do get some, like, RSI pains, so I'm trying to avoid grinding it too much. Uh, I think I'm just going to stack up the reward uh, points and not, not use them. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. This is my first ever time even coming in. I see everyone's running away. I don't know if I should be cooking or not. Like they surely don't have a full inventory. I don't know. I'm gonna figure this out. Um, and I'm gonna stack up the rewards. I'm not sure when I'll use them. I'll probably stack up several hundred at least before I before I claim them. But yeah. Change. Oh, I got 101 fishing. Sick. Wasn't expecting that. Ooh, room plate legs trimmed. New unique. Sick. Love to get a new unique. Uh, that's the first one in 24 clues. So that's real nice. Ooh, new unique black dragon mask. The only other dragon mask I've had is the green one, so we still need the blue and red. Um, I guess this one probably is the most value because you need it for the elite clue stash unit at KBD. I don't know, these are dumb. But another new unique, sick. Fuck, this is the second time I've been attacked. The only time I've ever been attacked uh, in the wilderness is at this spot. Uh, I'm probably gonna die here, yeah. Oh shit, new unique, rune, H rune shield H2. I don't know how many Helderic shields I'm missing, but 
It's been 34 clues since I've had a new unique, even though the rate should be like 1 in 12 or 1 in 13 at this point. Ooh, new collection locks out the pith helmet. That's sick. It's a dumb looking item. A lot of these hard clue uniques look really dumb. So I stacked up these two hard caskets, and I want to go ahead and open these now. Oh shit, Armadale Dehyde Body, that's a sick new unique. That wasn't planned at all, obviously. Oh, uh, nice. I wasn't I wasn't expecting to get anything from these. Oh, we got the back-to-back! -back. Holy shit, I've been so dry on uniques, and I was going to record this clip for a totally different reason. And we got back-to-back -back uniques. Uh, the reason I was recording this is that second clue, uh, hard clue number 961, is 5,000 total treasure trails. So... Wow, the fact that I got back-to-back -back uniques, though, uh, really makes up for that dry streak and makes this clip really sick. Uh, yeah, that's a cool little milestone. Not sure when I'll hit 6,000, because I think I'm probably going to slow down on clues soon. But I will definitely hit at least 6,000 at some point. Behind body G, new unique, and a bunch of purple sweets. That's sick. Okay, so not quite done with hard clues. Uh, right now it is Tuesday the 11th of May. Um, and I was really excited for the LMS world to change to the US world uh, tomorrow on the 12th. But they just tweeted out that they're not going to change, they're not, there's not going to be an update on the 12th because Clans is coming out soon and they're just working on that. So that's, it's like one of the few updates I was looking forward to. So that's a little bit annoying, but it's not a huge deal. So I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this like Camdozel or whatever it's called. Uh, I was planning on doing it after I finished LMS anyways. So I'll just do it now while the LMS world is still in the UK world. So we'll just be AFK in here for a while and then still doing some hard clues on the side. Oh, I got the Baronite Guard. I've only killed, let's check the collection log, 20 of these and it's a one in 150. So that's pretty lucky. It makes up for going dry on that uh, telescope thing. So, now that we have this, we should have fully completed the Camdozel log. Let's run over here, turn off my prayers, uh, get these pieces out of the bank, and we can pay the, I think it's 1,500 Baronite shards I have to pay. Uh, I have plenty. Uh, let's see. Handle, guard, and head at four of the heads, 24,000 shards. And we did a lot of mining. And let's talk to this guy. I think I need to use it on him. Yes, construct the weapon. Almost converted it. That would have been a pain. All right, and there we go. The Baronite Mace. Completely useless for me. Um, but that is the entire Camdozo log finished. Let's check that out real quick. And with that, we have 10 more log slots. We just passed 900 uh, unique log slots too, I didn't notice that. Uh, but 960 total log slots, and I guess now we'll just do Temporos and some more hard clues while we wait for LMS to finish. Getting very close to that 1000 total log slots. Quick little Temporos update, we just hit 50kc on that last game. Uh, 230 permits, almost one fourth done with the goal of stacking up 1000 permits. Um, so yeah, might do some solos at some point, so far all of these have just been on the mass world. I don't know, um, it's pretty enjoyable, even on here. Okay, so we with that game, we just hit 500 total permits. I know I said I was gonna stack up a thousand, but the uh, spirit angler outfit effect of not needing a rope to tether to the pole is really useful for like trying to do this when I'm half paying attention. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and check these 500 rewards, um, see what I get, hopefully we can get, uh, we should get the four log slots from the spirit angler and then like, one or two other unique, so we should get five or six log slots I'm expecting. But hopefully we get Spoon the Pet. All right, so this is what the Temporos looks like right now. I've done zero permits. I do have the Dragon Harpoon because I got it from uh, Worms or whatever drops it now. Um, but we should get the full Angler set. Uh, we should get Spirit Flakes, obviously. We should get Soaked Pages. I'm expecting to get one of either the Tackle Box or the Fish Barrel, but probably not both. Um, probably won't get the big harpoon fish or the tome, but hopefully we can get lucky. So, um, yeah, hoping to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven log slots from this and be up to uh, 967 by the time we're done. We haven't done any yet, 
Uh, it's still 502. I just went and got some food since the last clip. But yeah, let's go ahead and start fishing. 34 raw bass, first time ever. Oh, new collection log slot, spirit flakes right off the bat. Collection log slot, soaked page. Cool. Sick. Uh, kind of surprised it took 80 rewards to get. I'm not sure what the drop rate is, but I think it's less than 180. Um, let's see. Yeah, those pages. Oh, I guess those pages are 1 in 53, so 1 in 80 is not too bad. Oh, I just got the fish barrel too. I just I was just gratzing this person in the chat for fish barrel. GZ. And then the game came through and gave me a fish barrel too. That's sick. Fish barrel is actually a kind of useful item if I ever want to AFK fishing. I'm not sure when I would, but since I already have the pet. If I didn't have the pet, it would be really sick. But I do already have the pet, and I do plan to get the recolor here as long as I'm doing Timperos. Part of why I wanted to go for a thousand pieces and some more soap pages. But cool, so that's a log slot. I just realized I got 25 soaked pages, so that means since the only unique I have is a fish barrel, I just got a dupe fish barrel. That's kind of annoying, but whatever, 25 pages is, I guess it's only like 35K. Actually, I'm more annoyed now that I've thought of that. Are you fucking kidding me? Another 25 smoked pages. That's a second dupe fish barrel. I would have had three fish barrels. Just give me the uh, the other thing that's not a fish barrel. Can't even think of what it is. Tackle box. The tackle box would actually be useful for me. Big harpoon fish, that's sick. I can mount that in my POH. Um, and that's actually one of the rarer uniques. It's one in 1500, so I was not expecting to get that at all. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I'd still like to get the tackle box, because the tackle box will save me a few bank spaces. And it'll also be good for the master clue step, where you have to catch an anglerfish, because I always have to buy uh, the stupid worm things. I think you can store the worm things in there. Maybe you can't. Oh, we got the tackle box with 20 left. Nice. I really wanted the tackle box. Tackle tackle box. I'm sorry, I can't speak. Uh, nice. That's that's really nice. That's about the most useful reward. Um, so I got like most everything I was expecting to get from uh, here in just 500 KC. 
I'll stay long enough to get 3,000 flakes to um, recolor my heron, but I'm not sure if I'll stay to a full 1,000 permits. Maybe I will. But four left, three left. Highly doubt we'll get anything else in two, one, zero. All right, so uh, yeah, I did not get the pet. Um, I was expecting 12 per thing, so that would be like 6,000 total. So what about 250 flakes below the rate? But where is this person for the spirit angler? Um, where is she? Oh, over here. All right, so let's take off my angler outfit. Use it on Jita. Proceed. Spirit angler top, new collection lock slot. Spirit angler boots, new collection slot, or hat, headband, whatever, boots. Uh, and the ink and the legs for new log slots. There we go. I do like this outfit. It looks okay. Um, I will probably at some point go do fishing trawler after I finish a thousand total collection log slots, just to get another another of the old outfit. But let's take a look at the collection log, and you can see we ended up getting one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine new log slots. We're only missing the Tome of Water and the Tiny Temper. Um, it'd be really, really cool if we got the Tiny Temper. I love it. It's a stupid looking pet, but I don't enjoy Temperos enough that I think that I will hunt, be hunting for this pet anytime soon if I don't get it. But if we could get, I need to get uh, 2,000 more Spirit Flakes. So that's on average, I'll probably do at least uh, 200 more permits to get those. Um, then I'll probably use those 200 permits, see if we get the Tome, see if we get the pet. And then maybe I'll go for a thousand permits total, or maybe not. Uh, I'm just gonna play it by ear for now. But that's some good progress. We are up to uh, 969 total log slots. Oh shit! Last clue of the night, 990. We got the Zami plate legs. That's sick. Um, it's first unique in 20 clues. So glad to see that. All right, this is uh, kind of crazy. Uh, 991 hard clues for 91991 um interesting all right so this is my 1000th hard clue i think i'm actually going to keep going a little bit longer i'm only at 107 or 108 out of 132 in the main hard clue slot but i'm gonna go ahead and open up my stacked up masters so we got 29 of those unless i get another one from this hard clue so there you go the big 1000 hard clues Okay, so with these 29 Master Clues, we're starting on 321 Masters completed, so after these 29, we'll be exactly at 350. That's a nice number. Um, we're also on 9 Mimics, so whatever Mimics we get, we'll add on to that. Hopefully we can get a few, get that Ring of 3rd Age, or a regular 3rd Age piece. Uh, I decided to open these Clues here in the Farming Guild, because the last time I stacked up Master Clues, I opened them here. And I got a 3rd Age Cloak, so this is a, a superstitious lucky spot. Let's go ahead and start opening. Hopefully we can get some uniques. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the Master Clue Log before we get started. Um, clues. Master Clues. Uh, that's Master Clues Rare, sorry. Uh, Master Clues, 22 out of 49. So probably not going to get any new uniques. Um, like this Anku and Mummy stuff is so rare. But maybe we can get an ornament kit. Or maybe we could even spoon the Bloodhound. Oh, there's a unique on the first clue. 386k is not bad. That's not good. Oh, there we go. There's our first mimic. Hopefully we can get the ring of third age. 600 death runes. I'll take it. That's somehow even worse than the one I had before. Yeah. Uh, 241k, I'll better than the ones I've been having. 206. That's very empty. Okay. 277k. I've had so many uniques recently that I can't really expect to get any right now. I guess uh, I got one unique on the first clue, but since then nothing. All right. Ooh, new collection like that left eye patch. Cool. 
I mean, I don't think it's worth anything at all, but it's a new log slot, so that's good. A double unique master clue. Uh, both of them are dupes, but that's three master clue uniques and two clues, right after I was talking about how they're rare and I don't deserve any. Alright, whatever. Junk. Ooh. I'll take 680k any day. Any day of the week. <gasps> Tormented ornament kit! Another new log slot, that's sick. 4.6 mil. Nice, I really was not expecting to get hardly anything. And then do one more. I probably shouldn't have, but 375k. Wow. Alright, 12 more master clues. Again, with the only three items. 391k. Looks like it should be more. Another unique samurai top. Dupe. 28 purple sweets, that's sick. Rune bars, wines of Zami. I don't know how this is 300k. I guess the Dragon Halberd's really carrying it. Oh, <gasps> Gilded DI Chaps! I haven't had a single Master Clue unique. Or I haven't had a single Mega Rare roll from the Hard Clues, and it's been really bothering me. And then I get another Mega Rare from Hard Clues, and that's 11 mil. What the heck? So from Master Clues, I've now had a Third Age Cloak and Gilded Dehyde Chaps. But I can't even get potions, super restores from Hard Clues. That's so sick. That 11 mil is going to go a long way towards making this be a break even thing. Holy crap, that's sick. I was not expecting that at all. Let's try these on, see what they look like. They they just look like gold black dehyde. Um, but that's sick. That's really sick. Alright, we've had three new uniques. We can't possibly get any more from these six master clues, but I would like to get another mimic just for the boss KC. You can wear the dehyde chaps for good luck. 369k is pretty good. <gasps> An anguish ornament kit! Oh my gosh! This is such a lucky clue opening. 7.6 mil. Wow. All right. 350k, I'll take it. 217k, two more. Hosidius Hood, a fourth lock. What the fuck? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Popping off with these log slots. Will we get a mimic for 350? We do not, but three another 348k. Wow, that's so many log slots um i gotta be careful about banking these half keys so i don't mess up my loot tab but let's get out the collection log um i don't know if these dehyde shafts are elite clue or they're master clue only but let's look so we're up to 26 out of 49 we got four new items in here the hosidius hood the two ornament kit these two ornament kits and the eye patch and then also in the master clue rare section we're now up to two out of 45 we got the third age cloak gilded dehyde chaps does that also count in the elite rare section it does it does it does so we're up to 378 total log slots so we're getting very very close to the big 1000 all right so ignore how badly i fucked up this last solo i was watching stuff um but got 185 more permits it should get me enough of the uh, whatever the spirit flakes or whatever they're called to recolor my heron. Um, I've got my log in my bank, but we're at uh, 10 out of 12. We're just missing the pet and the tome. I'm not really expecting to get either of those, obviously. Uh, if we do get one, that'll be really nice. But I think I'm probably done with Temporos for a long time uh, once I finish this. If we do get the pet, I'll stay for the tome. If we get the tome, uh, I'll hunt the pet at some point because it's not the worst thing in the world, but I'm not going to grind it out. But yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and get started fishing these rewards. I really thought I wasn't going to get there. Uh, I only just got there in the last couple of uh, things. I was going to have to do some more. But now we can use the Heron on her. Oh, I guess we use the Spirit Flakes directly on it. How do we how do we recolor this? Metamorphosis Heron. Oh, here you go. Give your Heron 3,000 Spirit Flakes to unlock its blue form. There we go, it turns blue in front of your very eyes. That really hits the spot. Though I feel a little blue now that none are left. Alright. Nice. Um, it's not what I'm after, I'm here for the pet. Uh, just doing some Slayer, okay. Somehow, 
despite her being all the way out there and serve as aggroed her. Um, but we just got a prim crystal on 4767kc. Uh, wow, nice. 22 mil. Those have gone down a lot, but 22 mil is a nice drop. Uh, 4767, still no pet. What the hell? Uh, I didn't know Eternals were 1.2 mil. That's, they've gone down even more than I expected. But Eternal Crystal and Elite in the same kill? Um, I guess that's like 1 in 50,000? Uh, alright, that's cool. Um, I'm actually going to do this Elite Clue. I was convinced by my friend Gainscape to do uh, Elite Clues rather than turning them in for Masters. Alright, I have one kill left on this task. And we just got another Eternal Crystal. Uh, so that's interesting. No Elite Clue this time. Would have liked to have gotten the Elite Clue more than the Eternal, to be honest. Alright, there we go. Task done. 4859KC. And two Eternals, one Prim, one Elite but no pet. Alright, first elite clue since like the fall of 2018 when I hit 200 for the big casket. Let's get, let's get a piece of third age. 104k. Honestly, I probably should have just stacked that up until uh, until they fix the third age rates in a couple months. Um, yeah, so any more elite clues I get from here on, I'll probably just stack up for a few months. But there we go. Ruined the very clean 200. Oh shit, just got a heavy frame. I was just trying to test out some uh, weird alt shit that you can do as a main. Uh, but we got a heavy frame. Uh, I don't actually know if that's one of the rare pieces or one of the common pieces, but it's a new log slot. That's all that matters. Oh shit, we got the light frame too. We got the heavy frame and the light frame from this uh, task. That's really sick. The heavy frame is like the rarest item. This is like the second rarest item. So we only have like the common items to go and the monkey tail. The monkey tail is one or 1500, but again, we can do Maniacal Monkey Hunter to get that. That's fucking sick. I'm so happy about that. Just got an elite clue from Demonics. We're really getting quite a lot of good loot this, this task, but uh, 222 is far too many of these to kill uh, in one task. This is very boring. Uh, I did unextend Black Demon, so next time my task won't be as long. But that's a that's a good one in 500 drop. I probably would have preferred another unique, but cannot complain at all about getting an elite clue. Oh my God, Ballista limbs too! What the fuck? That's my third unique this this task. We're only missing the Ballista Spring and the Monkey Tail now uh, from finishing the entire fucking collection log. And we had an elite clue too, that's ridiculous. You can see in the chat, uh, we just got two more LMS points. That puts our total at 1,547. I've been doing LMS for a month now, pretty much a month. Uh, right now I'm on the Australian world, because uh, that's where the most bots and Venezuelans are, because I suck. Um, here's the LMS board. Uh, 33 wins, 1,335 kills, 645 games. As you can see, I do suck, um, but it doesn't matter. It's just about playtime. Uh, 1,547 points, though, is notable because we can complete the collection log. Uh, but I'm going to hop to another world before we do it because this world is packed. All right, so I went ahead and banked the... Um, Fossil Island Wyverns loot in my inventory just because I'm not sure how many inventory slots we'll need. But right now, as you can see, we are on 1 out of 32 on the LMS log. The only item we have is the Victor's Cape 1. We can get the Victor's Cape 10, not the Victor's Cape 50 though. Uh, I may go for the Victor Cape 50 at some point, but I'll probably never go for the 100 or the 500. And the reason I'll go for the 50 is because I don't get to keep any of these untradeables. I have to sell them all back, uh, which is kind of disappointing because these untradeables are kind of nice, but. Um, I get a little bit of profit from all of the tradable stuff, a few mil, but I guess this would be like, what, 40 or 50 mil, maybe more, 60 mil, if I, uh, if I just sold everything for cash, but I'm going to open up my spreadsheet of LMS rewards so I make sure that I don't fuck this up. Um, also, from this, uh, you, you'll notice we are at one, 981 total log slots, and we are about to get... Uh, almost 30 log slots from this, so that will push us past the 1,000 total log slot mark, and we're going to be getting close to 1,000 uniques as well, so let's go ahead and start buying these. I'm going to start with the untradeable things, uh, dead man legs, dead man chest, 
Dead Man's Cape. That's three log slots. Let's put those on. I'm not going to keep them. Uh, they actually do look like, I don't know if good's the right word, but they look interesting and you never really see this worn around. Uh, I do like that cape. That cape looks better than the windscapes. Uh, we're going to get a lot of those pop-ups. So those cost 160 points each, so that was 480 points. Um, I'm not sure how you sell these back. Ah, oh, you have to use them on there. Okay, so accept. Um, interesting. That's weird. Alright, so we sold those back. Um, now let's do the halos. Yeah, we're going to do these three halos on the side. That way we can keep track of which ones we have. Arma Halo, that looks pretty nice. The Square Sarah Halo, everyone's seen that one. And the Brassica Halo. You never see anybody wearing this, it looks very stupid. Like, I kinda get why, but... Yeah, that looks dumb. Well, selfishly, like, it'd be nice if you could sell these back for full points, because it'd make getting the log easier. But I do wish you could sell them back for full points, just because I'd like to see people wear these more. And then people could just get enough points for only one of them, and then trade them back whenever they wanted. Um, so yeah, let's do the Bandos Halo and the Ancient Halo. These are much more basic. They're just like the same as the Castle Wars Halos. And it looks like pretty much. Yeah, interesting at least. Again, you don't you don't see any of these very much, just because most people spend the LMS points on on GP. Alright, and then the last thing we can buy and sell back is the Gathixian Icon. So we'll buy that for 500 points. Weird that it gives you a prompt. Um, yeah, we can't make the staff, we make the staff, we can't sell it back. Uh, but here we go and sell it back for 400 points. And now everything else we buy is a tradable, so we can't sell anything back from this point. Let's see what our log's at right now, 990, so let's buy 10 more things. Uh, let's come down here. I'm excited I get to keep these. These are the only things I really get to keep, is these special attacks. I actually use the SGS quite often, even though it's not really efficient, just because uh, I like to AFK. Um, and the special attacks do look good, and I'll get to use the Golden AGS spec if I ever do any more LMS. It's kind of weird that these have a collection line pop-up, to be honest. Alright, so let's do the Swift Blade, because that is expensive. Uh, we get to keep this, because we can't sell it back. Um, if you can store it in your POH, you can, I'll keep it. If I if I can't store it in the POH, I guess I'm just going to sell it for the, the 12 mil or whatever it's worth. Let's see. 14 mil, so. Uh, I'd rather keep it than sell it for 14 mil, though. Alright, now let's do the, uh, the cheaper things. So we need a granite clamp, an ornate mall handle, steam staff upgrade kit, lava staff upgrade kit, dragon pickaxe upgrade kit, ward upgrade kit. Uh, 1001, I fucked it up. I was trying to set it exactly 1000. Um, but yeah. Uh, so let's go through. We just need all of these paints. That's all we're missing now? Yep. And we should end on exactly one point remaining after we buy those. There we go. Exactly one LMS point remaining. Oh, no, 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 we have one more thing to buy. We have one more thing to buy. I completely forgot. Uh, the Tin Winds Cape. We can store this in the POH, so that's nice. Alright, let's 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 go get the frog mask so I can take my screenshot. Probably should have done that at the start. Oh, there's a guy wearing the cabbage halo. I guess if you're going to see someone with it, it's going to be here. Looks very silly.
can't equip mix. Last of these pop-ups, frozen whip mix. These pop-ups are really satisfying. And Victor's Cape 10. Uh, here we go. LMS basically completed. Uh, just missing the capes. 1,008 uh, total log slots, 951 unique. And I think I'm going to end the video here. We did well over 100 log slots. Really smashed out the hard clues. Uh, this. Nope, not hard clue rares, uh, but the hard clues. We got the Gilded Dehyde Chaps. That's so sick. Um, yeah. 1,008 log slots. Four digits. Uh, I guess next video we'll probably hit 1,000 unique. I don't know. Getting 50, 49 new log slots might be a big ask, but I do still have some easy ones like Olive Sepulchre, uh, Mage Training Arena, Soul Wars. Um, so maybe maybe next video will hit a thousand unique. I'm not sure But I've been waiting a while to put this video to finish off this video because I just really wanted to hit a thousand total this video So I hope you enjoyed um, Not sure when the next video will be probably around a month month and a half uh, unless I just uh, Get really lucky or go really hard. I'm not sure but hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I made a ton of progress this video This is probably the most hours I've sunk into a single video. I'm not sure um, saying um a lot. Not really sure how to end this. Uh, please like, subscribe, do whatever that stuff is. Uh, 1,000 log slots. That's so satisfying. Just editing the video. It's got 73 million strength. Okay, bye.